meeting is being Gate recorded. 14. <laughs> I did it again. I always say at the start of the record. Gate 14 podcast. The vibes were weird. I'll be honest with you. It was a weird week for the Jays. A split with the Twins in Minnesota. Maybe I'll take that. But we'll start off with the boys. JR, how are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing very well. I mean, can't complain. Can't complain. That's for sure. Avery? I'm um, doing well. I didn't watch as much as the weekend as I wanted to because it seems like you are fucking fired up today. and I'm So I'm excited to, to see what you have for us. I have a lot for you, and I'll start it off with this. I, I've been, I've been a Yankee truther on this podcast. Okay. I've said the Yankees are a wagon. I've said the mm-hmm. Yankees are good. Okay. I am making it very clear right now. The New York Yankees are poverty. They are a pathetic joke and no, no, no. Hear me out. At the start of the year, they got, a, they were a wagon. I said it. I said it. everyone was hitting the bottom of the order. Now they're back. Welcome to fucking reality. New York Yankees. They're a pathetic lineup. They have so many holes in the lineup. Josh Donaldson is cat shit. He's terrible. The New York Yankees are frauds. They are the biggest pretenders. And I'm going to go as far as this. They're not going to make it even remotely out of the ALDS. And I genuinely don't think it. I think it's going to come down wire to wire at the end of this season. And here, I actually come prepared as well. Yankees fans are going to say, oh, we got... We had injuries. Giancarlo Stanton wasn't playing. Rizzo wasn't playing. Oh, got stats for you there, Yankee fans. Here's the list of Major League Baseball teams, the most injured in baseball. The Yankees are the 11th least injured team in all of baseball. Teams injured more than them. The Padres, the Mets, the Dodgers, the Giants, the Phillies by a long shot, the Rays, all of these teams who are in playoff spots, dare I say, have been substantially double the injuries as the New York Yankees. Double. And the Yankees, our fans are going to complain about injuries, umpires, whatever the fuck they're going to complain about. They are pathetic. They are poverty. And they're not going to do fuck all this year. All right? And now they're melting. They're blaming umpires, Aaron Boone. They're blaming everyone. Welcome to reality. This is what you guys were supposed to be. Now you're being it. And the lead is in single digits now, all right? The Jaws theme song. The Jays are fucking coming. So just be warned, Yankee fans. You guys are pathetic. You guys got swept by the Cardinals. Luis Castillo rubbed his nuts on your fucking face. And this is what's happening. The Yankees are pathetic. So I just wanted to start the show with that. Five in a row for the Yankees. Jays split the Twins in Minnesota without George Springer. And yeah, we're talking injuries as well. The Jays centerpiece to the offense George Springer is is borderline dead and the Jays are doing this so Yankee fans welcome to fucking reality that's all I have to say best part is well also Jeremy said that they can't hit which was now true so Jer awesome take early on the season perfect um they don't get Luis Castillo he shoves his nuts in their face like you said they trade Jordan Montgomery he shoves his nuts in their face (laughs) and then they trade for Frankie Montas and he pitches like shit Awesome week. To- it was a great week. It, it, I was loving it. And listen, hand up. I bet the Yankees Friday, Saturday, if that's what it's going to take for them to keep losing, I'm going to invoice the Jays. Just keep, keep fucking paying me. I will keep betting the Yankees. So they lose. Uh, no, you'll that's invoice bet nine, nine. Yeah. Just- I'll invoice bet nine, nine, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, that's what I had to say. It was pent up in me. Cause all these Yankee fans, I follow obviously with the other network that I'm with, uh, Blue Wire, they are tons of Yankee fans, so I, I got it all. I understand it now, and um, yeah, they're poverty. I watched a lot of Yankee baseball this weekend. They're pathetic. They can't hit. They really can't hit. Josh Donaldson, I saw the clip of uh, three Adam Wainwright 90-mile-an-hour fastballs he took and just strike three. <laughs> I had a nice little laugh while we were at dinner tonight. <laughs> he sucks. <laughs> Yankee fans hate him. They hate him. And Ben Benintendi, by the way, is cat shit, too. He's been terrible with the Yankees. Fucking right. Yeah, but uh, that's what I, I had to make that clear. I wanted Jared, to get that. How do, how do you feel about their lineup at this point? I mean, I always said this. I always said this throughout this entire year. I said, I'm not scared of that lineup. Like, is that crazy? I mean, Judge is playing out of his ass. He's been playing. He, he might keep it up. Like, he probably will, but he's been playing out of his ass. Let's It'd be hilarious honest. if he goes over in a playoff series and they yeah. get swept. <laughs> I mean, like you look at the like the lineup. Like, Labor Torres isn't a very good baseball player anymore. 
Like, he's just not that good. Rizzo hits, like, 220. He doesn't really scare me. Uh, the outfield, is there really anyone in the outfield? Besides Judge, obviously. Yeah, yeah Judge. Uh, but, like, Castro. Stanton, Stanton's streaky as hell. Like, he's getting older. But, like, at the catcher position, they're they're pretty weak. Like, Trevino. Like, I'm not scared of him. Like, it's not a, like... I don't they know. Overperformed we performed we, we, like crazy. We the they were all performing at the same time good, which is why they had such a massive lead. Their lead at one mm-hmm. point, if I have this correct, was it 15 and a half, 16 and a half at one point? Maybe yeah, 19 uh, at some point? It was ridiculous. Like, that's not a team. Maybe the, all those guys in their prime, but you're not getting prime Donaldson. Like, you're not getting prime Stanton right now. Like, you never, you won't. Like, it's just, they were playing out of their mind. And I think, I'm not scared to play the Yankees. Like, I'm going to say that too, Jr. I I am mm-hmm. begging the Jays get the Yankees in the first mm-hmm. round. I I in the ALDS, I am begging because and but the way it's going to line up, the Yankees might not even play the Jays because the Jays are probably going to have to go face the Astros. They won the wild card. The Astros are going to be the best team in the yeah, AL. That's that would be scary. exciting, but it'll be wait, scary. <laughs> wait, what do you yeah. mean by that? <laughs> because the team that wins the American League wild card game faces the best AL team, the ALDS. So if the Yankees were the best, wait, no, that's not true. Yes, yes. Why wouldn't the lower seed play the highest seed? That, that's what I'm saying. The wild card. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I, Are you what? What? So I was. Be, I thought you said the two, wait. the wild card two, and the wild card three would play the second. No. Team. So whoever comes out of that wild card round faces the best team in the AL because they got a buy to the ALDS. Okay. Yeah. And then yeah. the the bot the middle two division winners, which is probably going to be the uh, like the Yankees twins, would play each other, because there's four teams that advance. So, so Maybe right I'm now, confused. We were, right now, if we were in playoffs, we'd play the Rays, right? Yes, it would be Jays because the Twins would have the number one wild card. Oh, I fuck. Yes. I'm dumb. Yeah, one and two, and then division yes. winner three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hand up. The new fuck the new playoffs, man. Yeah, it's it's just not great. But yeah, no, I like I, I can generally say it. And listen, listen, the Jays aren't good. Like they're not that good. I, I I'm gonna say, the Jays aren't that good of a fucking team, dude. Like I I'm gonna be the first to admit it. Like yes, the Jays split with the Twins. No right, they had no right splitting with them. How bad they played. And Jordan Romano, by the way, I don't know what the fuck this dude's been doing. Like this dude is he redeemed himself, luckily. But fuck, mm-hmm. like fuck, man. But, um, yeah, dude, like, the Jays aren't a good team. I'm just happy with them making the playoffs at this point, man. I really am. I, I think the Astros are disgusting. And they got exposed. They, they lost today one nothing, whatever, against the Guardians. But that happens in baseball. I mean, you can't but... play a noon game on a Sunday. That sounds Yeah. Uh, the Astros are scary. And Trey Mancini has three hits with the Astros, three home runs. He got, he got another hit today, single. Oh, wish. okay. I was going to say that like that is just crazy, but I don't know if you guys caught. So did you guys end up watching the Jays replay? I saw some of the game. Uh, I went like YouTube to search. Okay. It so you saw the play at the plate, right? Yeah. So I want you to describe to me everything that went into okay, it. Okay. So because I saw that there was a ruling issue. So oh yeah, I'll explain it to you. And then I'm going to, I'm going to go on a little rant again because twins fans were just, I think they, yeah, some of them were tweeting at me. So what happens was Calvin Biggio again, no clutch sheen in this guy's fucking <laughs> in this guy's body in this membrane hits a, a, a very very poor pop up to left field. Yep. Whit Merrifield, who is the looks like the fastest kid alive, like just unbelievably fast, tags up and is going home. Slides. Gary Sanchez is in kind of the at like the lane yep. and blocks him. So Whit Merrifield never got to touch home, so he gets called out. They overturn it, call him safe. And yeah, like it was a weird ruling. Rocco Baldelli had a fucking aneurysm throwing shit. He threw his hat and was like I, going. I saw him yell "fuck you" to like um, the yeah. official score or something. Yeah, he box. he <laughs> went to look at the press box and screamed "fuck you" to like the guy collecting the box score. So, <laughs> and I will say this, and this is another one. This is another thing that I'm gonna post on TikTok, and we're gonna get uh, Mud Boy has to relax. I will not be looking at the comments for this. Minnesota Twins fans complaining about fucking that call when it was only one run when you're playing an extra inning where you start up with a guy at second anyways so you had an easy fucking chance to score with a runner scoring position with a pretty decent part of your lineup hitting 
let me tell you who you don't, who you blame for for that game you lost today. Max Kepler pop up to center field. He goes halfway, doesn't tag. Next guy hits a, a sharp ground ball up the middle. Obviously, the infield's on in because there's no runner on third. Easy play, throw it to first. Max Kepler goes to third when he should have been home, and that's the ball game. If you're going to blame anyone, you blame your piece of shit offense who can't fucking generate runs with a runner on second and no outs. That's who you blame because that call, it was, I guess, controversial. But to say what, like that what was ended, controversial about it doesn't it. There's some angles you can look at and say it was controversial. But the fact that you're going to just blame the ump and Rocco Baltelli is going to blame the ump and whatever. When you had a clear chance to tie the game, you know, the saying ball never lies runner on second. All you got to do is just score him bunt and just hit a fucking sacrifice fly. And the game's over. Then we're not even worried about that call. Yeah. And you know what? If that guy got called safe at, or out at home, you motherfuckers wouldn't have scored anyways. You didn't even score. Max Kepler just forgot how to do basic base running and went halfway down the line. And I was watching. I was like, what the fuck is this dude doing? Like, I, I was surprised he was still at second because it was a pretty deep pop-up. And Whit Merrifield has a noodle arm. And he doesn't even tag. And then next off sharp hit ground ball, which would have been easily way through the center, doesn't score. So, Twins fans, instead of crying in your fucking milk, Blame your dog shit offense for not scoring on a guy who's struggling like Jordan Romano. Like you scored in the ninth runner on second, the, per, the percentage, like the live odds for you guys were, were in, was like minus minus one fifty at that point. So the, the odds makers had you guys winning the game. You guys couldn't do shit. So don't blame the fucking arms. Blame yourself. Like that's, that's how you got to look at it. We need to get Jordan Romano out of Minnesota too. get him to a new place. <laughs> he, I don't know if you saw his splits, right? His home uh, and road splits? No. Oh, I got to read a split. For pitchers, that doesn't make much sense to me. Home it doesn't road. make sense. No, I, I agree. But it's but like almost him, he's so Jordan Romano is so Canadian. He's only good in Canada. <laughs> Do you want me to look it up? <laughs> you got I'm it. looking it up right now. It is. Uh, it, it's concerning his home and road splits. But is there anyone that's more uh, Canadian than Jordan Romano? <laughs> Seriously. I mean, let me go to his splits right here. So home games. <laughs> this is fucking wild. So they mentioned this on the broadcast. Jordan Romano, the most Canadian human being of all time, his home splits. Wait, 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 wait. We can't say that because he's not playing for Canada at the World Baseball. Well, well, he's actually saying, fuck, yeah, that's fine. So Jordan Romano, the most Canadian human being of all time, according to me, (laughs) at home has a .39 ERA on the road, 530 (laughs) ERA, 530 ERA. He has a whip on the road of 1.5 with an opponent average of 257. At home, hitters are hitting 139 with a 0.70 whip. I have those splits, and I know they mean nothing for pitchers, are absurd. But uh, is it maybe because there's no walkout entrance for him? Like, I don't know what the fuck that I is. Love, I love his walkout. So, yeah, maybe that is it. Is but that like not wild? On base percentage of almost 360 on the road. That's bad. 10 earned runs on the road, one at home. <laughs> It's wild. I, how do we figure that out? Like for pitchers, like it, it, besides Coors Field and like not being at it, because Toronto's a pretty hitter friendly park based on all the uh, mm-hmm. park factors. So it's interesting. And to be honest, all my memories, and maybe Jr. could back me up on this, all my memories this year of Jr. blowing games, or not Jr. of Romano blowing games. He's a Jr. too. All right, he's he? a Jr. too. But all my memories of Joe Romano blowing games this year is. On the road, like the White Sox game, the Astros, Astros game. It's it's mm-hmm. wild. Like at home, he has a point three ninety RA, dude. Like, what the fuck? That is, I didn't even think about that. It is wild. He's been he's been outstanding at home. Do we I don't know. keep him? Maybe do we keep him in Canada then? <laughs> <laughs> should we should we fucking send the false that he's not vaccinated because he's a Canadian citizen, so he can't travel to the U.S. Yeah. He can only travel back. Should we make that rumor? I think we'd be helping the team at this point. What's who the hell would clo- who would close for us? I guess Yemi. Well, let's look at Trent Thornton's road ERA. It's probably better. no, oh, no, 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 no. We don't oh, want to look at no. that. Stop that. <laughs> no, no, Stop no. That. We don't want to look at that. What'd you guys think of uh, Mitch White? I thought he looked pretty good. I, I did. Down. I was ready to call the ships on him. I did tweet <laughs> I get, get this mo- get this fucking bum off my team. I did tweet that. Hand I up. His fastball 
like later on like it was moving pretty good that thing moves pretty well i don't know it wasn't as bad as i thought i thought he was gonna be terrible i really did i mean like getting pulled there was the right call it's just we don't have a good bullpen so when you pull him (laughs) and you put in fucking uh mesa like that's how left how left-handed pitchers to mesa for dislocating his shoulder like that yeah (laughs) that was and listen Listen, listen, people are going to look back at my tweets and be like, what a dickhead this guy is. But I did say t- send Tim Mesa to the moon, and then he just dislocates his shoulder right after. I don't know if there's a correlation of it, but listen, besides the injury, and I hope Timmy Mays is doing great, what he did last night was nothing short of criminal. I mean, he was embarrassingly bad. Emba- and then on that, and to top it off, the visual now in my head of him trying to pull some sort of like, gold glove shortstop diving play at home, just looking the most uncoordinated human being of all time, dislocating his shoulder. It's just a terrible visual now. Like now that's permanently into my brain and I can never not think about him doing that now. It was embarrassing. Yeah. Le- very left-handed pitcher. Like one of my favorite things from this series that I saw, I didn't see much of Saturday or today's game, but the Vlad pimp jobs in this series oh. looks like he's ready for the playoffs. Oh. Thursday and Friday or Friday, Thursday and Saturday. He had a sick one. He didn't hit one Saturday. I don't think. Okay. So then it was, uh, then it was Friday. You tweeted it. It was unbelievable. And it's nice to see him body being locked in again too, just being as dangerous as he should be. But fuck was that. That's a lot of fun to watch. And I think Thursday was the most fun. One of the most fun games of the season. <laughs> for the team. It was. It was a murder. It was a skull fucking. That's what it was. I'm surprised the twins have so many fans too that are beacon like that. Yeah, they're losers. <laughs> they're a bunch of clowns. But uh yeah, like Jay, I don't know if you caught a lot of the series, but like obviously the twins, like in my opinion, the tears go, it goes Astros mm-hmm. and then everyone else. Like I, I just think the Astros are so much better than everyone else in the league. I really do. I I think if you get if you get the Jays like on a hot streak, like the Jays, like they've been playing that stretch when they had like set like after the Schneider, I think the Jays keep up with the Astros, but the Jays coming more back down to life, which is what this series kind of was. I don't know. I, I think it's I think the Jays are up there for sure. It's just I don't think they're better than the Astros by any means or anywhere near them. Yeah, no, I I put the Astros one. It kind of shocks me, man. Like the Astros don't like never really make a splash at the deadline. And to be honest, like if they added one of those pitchers, like they'd be above and beyond number one, like they wouldn't be close. Like you're looking at the two, like, but they just never do like their rotation has always been like a one or two man show. And then they've had like a strong bullpen. Usually they'll add like an arm or two for their bullpen. Uh, But I mean, the rotation isn't too scary. I don't find it's too scary. I mean, Verlander's Verlander do has been absurd. Uh, but other than that, like Luis Garcia, like those guys aren't aren't. Oh, crazy, Framber's so. nasty. Framber yeah. is nasty. Lance He's McCullers nasty. is going to come back. I think that's why they didn't acquire a pitcher. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, because Lance McCullers is probably. <laughs> Would you say he's better than those three? No, Luis Castillo, number one, for mm-hmm. sure. And then he's so good. It's dude, just Luis. crazy that they just don't just say fuck it. Let's just go all in. Like we have a huge chance to win. Yeah, I think if they could, if they acquired a catcher or something like Contreras, yeah. they they did get a catcher though. Uh, well, which catcher did they get? Vasquez from the Red Sox. True, mm, true. God, he's fucking but sucked. Christian Vasquez couldn't hold Wilson Contreras' jock strap. Yeah, player. and the Cubs. <laughs> congrats to the Cubs for keeping those guys. You know, the hug in the fucking dugout was just. <laughs> Absurd, Char- but charity case team. Yeah, they're they're a charity case team. They're poverty. See, but do you guys, if we were the Chicago Cubs, how can you be excited as a fan? They don't have a great farm, and then they didn't sell pieces. So they're, are you fine with being just in the middle of the pack? I have a point. I have a point for that, and I'll okay, I don't really understand the whole because the same thing happened with Trevor Story and the Rockies last year, and they didn't sell them. This whole draft pick thing, I don't, I don't get it. What do you too mean, far tra- so like apparently if they don't trade them and they leave they get like picks yeah you get co- is the competitive balance picks like the compensation what the fuck is the point of that though i don't it's... really get that like don't they want people to trade like wouldn't they i never understood i never truly understood that 
It was so weird. Because the Trevor Story thing, like, how can you justify getting those picks? I think um, it's, like, only one pick, too. Like, you don't get a lot of picks. Yeah. I don't know, man. But, and I, I will say this, and just going back to that point you made, uh, Avery, about, um, what's it called? Uh, about, like, the Cubs and stuff like that. I was thinking about this, like, at some point when we're doing this podcast, like the Jays are going to be like real life poverty. Like how, how I've never, I, I was a J I've been a Jason my whole life, but I wasn't doing a fucking podcast. Right? Like I couldn't imagine, for example, four years ago, like looking at that lineup and just talking, like, what do you talk about? <laughs> Justin smoke. You, you'd have like, to go. What do down you talk to, about? Uh, you'd have to go down to one, one episode every two weeks. <laughs> Well, the thing is, we I listen to the uh, the Carabas podcast about the Red Sox sometimes. Nothing to do with baseball. They just only talk about like Pat Light's drinking problems, and it's enjoyable. To watch. Like that's what we're gonna have to talk about if this team is what bad. The, and like, and five. what the fuck? Like, I know we didn't really talk too much about the uh, Red Sox, but like, what the fuck is their plan? <laughs> <laughs> they got dog walked so... today by the Royals. Dog like, walked. They are. <laughs> They, they are the definition of a lost team and they are fucking lost. Yeah. Acquiring Tommy fam shocked, <laughs> shocked me because they were selling pieces, but a, they're like, we'll take Hosmer. You guys pay for deadline? a, we'll take Hosmer. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think Hosmer could be good for them, but um, it's just super weird. Fucking weird, man. They dude, how scare me at all. How bullshit is it that the twins are in like a clear cut playoff spot, dude? They have 57 fucking wins. They're 57 and 51, and they're in a playoff spot. Well, the fucking White Sox, man, like they, they stink. Dominating. Oh that division. my god, they god. suck. They That's... suck. And I'm scared of the Orioles. Like I, I mean, like what I don't want is I don't want to play the Orioles because they're going to be uh, obviously a fan favorite come playoff time. Um, uh, just because of the old underdog story, that just wouldn't be the right team. That wouldn't be a good team to play. The O's were a really cool team to watch in playoffs when they fill that place. Mm-hmm. And like Ubaldo Jimenez was pitching for them. I guess we played them in the wild card too, but. And then Edwin just embarrassed. Yeah. That was fuck. I can't wait for playoffs. I want to say it. And a lot of people are saying if the Jays make the, play- the, Jays make the playoffs, the teams right. they're competing with are fucking dog shit. If the Jays don't make the playoffs, sell the fucking team. Like. <laughs> If, so, listen, right now, I think it's going to end up this way. I think it's going to be Blue Jays, Rays, Mariners. Those are going to be the teams in the wild card. That's plain and simple. I think Jays are going to, like I said earlier, they're going to come first in the wild card. Those three, those two teams don't scare me at all. Mm-hmm. The Rays stink. I was watching them this weekend. They suck. And and the Mariners, the Mariners, when they, when they pack the place and they did sweep the Jays, they're not a bad team, and especially that Luis Castillo, fuck. But they're starting pitching like Kirby. It doesn't scare me. They're young. They're really young. So how young. does it? The best out of three is it? We need to do a whole away. episode on figuring it, out the playoffs. Yeah, because so is confused. it home away home or no, is it? No, away. it's it's all at one home. What? Home ad, home advantage gets all three games. Yeah. I'll explain it now. Well, fuck. Hopefully, we get all home against the Mariners. We can fucking. Uh, Robbie Ray won't be able to pitch. Yep. That's going to be a huge, like, not a lot of people are discussing this, but, like, that whole vaccination thing, and if Toronto keeps getting, like, we kept getting higher and higher, more I think games. I think it's going to be a big thing, yeah. Like, it's just, a, it's just going to cause an absolute uproar. So, here, this is what it is. Game. All right, I'm going to explain it again, because I already explained it last time, I think. Yeah. So, the last division winner, which is clearly going to be the Twins, Okay. It's going to be Twins versus the third place wild card team. Okay, so right now it'd be Twins versus Mariners. Okay, and then it, in a best of three, and then it would be, um, and then it would be Blue Jays Rays because they're the middle, right? Mm-hmm. So it'd be Blue Jays Rays in a best of three series. Hosted these games will be all be played in a three game series hosted by the team with the best record, the better record. Mm-hmm. So if, if I'm reading this correctly. Oh. The Jays will be playing at home against the Rays. Yes. Interesting. So you don't, it doesn't even matter that the Twins win their division. They could not host. 
The Twins that, will automatically host. They'll okay, host against the the third place wild card team. Fuck, dude. So would you rather? I'd rather face the at- Twins. I seriously would rather. I kind of hoping the Jays is coming third, and they just have to face the fucking Twins. That'd be Fuck. sick. But imagine the Rogers Center for a three game homestand, like. Yeah, it'd be electric. Like you'd want to see that. I'd want Am to- I reading that right, Avery? Say it again. I was finding a meme. I'm gonna post it here. Um, this gay 14 trying to figure out the playoff format. Uh, yeah. So instead, <laughs> I'm assuming. No, you're you right. know what? I'm you're just right, saying this. I, I think. I think what's gonna happen is I think the Twins just host the whole wild card series. Yeah. So all the teams play there. I think that makes more sense. Or that. You know what? If you're a listener and you understand basic math, <laughs> explain it to me. Or basic knowledge. Because how does the five we have it right again from home and away? It's two and no, three, I have it right. right. I have it right. I have it right. I have it right. Okay. I have it right. Here we go. So the number one seed right now, which is the Astros, would face the winner of the Jays versus the uh, Rays series, which is what if it ended right now, right? The first and second wildcard teams face each other. So the winner of that faces the first number one wild card seed. The number the they don't reseed it. No. So the winner of the four and five, which is the Jays Rays right now, play the Astros, the number one seed. Yeah. So the winner of the three and six, which would be the Twins, and the um, Mariners would face the two seed. Yeah. So the Jays would have a three game homestand. That would be fucking yeah. electric. As long as we finish first wild card, we have a home series. Oh, that you better pray. Whoever is facing the Jays, they're fucked. The Roger Center is going to be fucking mental. It is going be to be fucked. mental. Toronto will be fucking insane. I and might go to all of, three of those games too. The best, I'm not missing <laughs> the best out of five is uh, whoever is lower seed host the first two games then the other team hosts the last three right no i believe correct really no i think it's two two one no? okay two two, two one, one. Okay. yeah two two one but anyways so it, so yeah, when let the lower seed started off at home if the listener's not punching mm-hmm. their fucking radio right now trying to understand what we're talking about there there you have it and also another announcement i think i'm gonna be getting anthony bass on the pod i don't know if you guys will be able to like come for the interview and stuff like that i'm gonna hit him up right now see if i can get him on for next episode but oh, yeah. uh hashtag thank you johnny just keeps working and we're just nose to the grindstone. Show me another Jay's podcast that's this close to Anthony Bass. You can't. So Anthony Bass will, I'm assuming he said he'll come on. So I'm going to get him on. Uh, oh, maybe we'll do a solo interview or hopefully you guys can be available for that. Um, maybe we'll do it during an off day or something, but he isn't going to come on. He's disgusting now. He's throwing 97. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he is like way different than when he was here. Yeah, 97 will definitely play. We need some. Mm-hmm. We always were missing like swing and miss stuff in the bullpen, right? That's what our issue was. So. Zach Pop's good too, bro. Yeah, he is. He's he has a low serious. walk rate. Weird that he doesn't really strike guys out, but mm-hmm. um, I think he's a really good arm too. Oh, God. Game one tomorrow, the Jays have Kikuchi going against the Orioles. <laughs> Fuck. Yikes. He's due for that, eh? He really is. What, like a huge stinker? Yeah, he he really he he's been due. too good for too long. He's due for something. If Jano catches him, I I trust him to be half decent. Okay, and another thing, we got to talk about Barrios. Holy fucking hell, bro! Yes, I think it was yet. Was it yesterday? No, Friday. You want to talk about horrendous? I mean, this guy, and you know what's crazy about him? His next start. He's gonna go like eight with twelve punches. That's just what he does. Mm-hmm. He is yeah, never he's... in the middle. Jose Barrios is never in the fucking middle of good and bad. It's either Cy Young or fucking Tyler Chatwood. There's just no in between with this dude. There's no in between. I I don't get it. The ERA the most... is still like five nineteen. He has the hundred and twenty first best WHIP for starting pitchers. Oh God. Um, he's almost last in um, like hard hits against his fastball. Mm-hmm. Just hilarious, and I don't get it. How can we fix him, man? He went. He's been so inconsistent. Three it's innings, fucked. five earned runs. 
Three earn, three innings, five earned runs. The J Storm back. Who gets the loss? Romano in the bottom of the tenth. Jose Barrios got six whiffs. The whole start. game? Yeah. Yikes. Wow, that's fucking terrible. Yeah, that is not. He only threw 13 forcing fastballs. Wow. That's fucking terrible, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. I mean, and you know what's crazy? He's going to pitch against the Orioles on Wednesday, and he is going to go eight, eight strong with 12 punchies, and everyone's going to say he's bad. When Jose Brios, can we say this? When he's good, he's one of the funnest pitchers to watch with his shit falling off the table, right? Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. But, yeah. But we, I guess we can talk about Gossman today. I mean, this guy's just – he's just old reliable, dude. Mm-hmm. Kevin Gossman is like, you need a bounce back win as bad as the Jays needed one today. Kevin Gossman, old reliable, comes in, punches out, just continues to punch dudes out, just – absolutely carved the twins had no business not getting the win today i feel bad for pitchers like that because he how many innings did he go six innings six hurt hits zero earned runs zero walks five punchies i mean come on he was like, awesome he's he's that guy where it's like listen the, i'll ask you this right now it if the playoff rotation it, like we talked about a couple weeks ago it's Manoa or Gossman. Who's going one for you? Based uh, off Gossman. of his veter- veteran leadership, you think Gossman's going one? Yeah. Who mm-hmm. do you think, JR? Yeah, I think you give the ball to Gossman because you just don't know of Manoa. This will be his first ever playoff game. I, do you think um, Manoa would worry about things like that? The way he talks and no, not, he would not understand so the game. Go it would be so green. electric. I'm saying Manoa's st- the first starter. Sure. I, I, I think I it's, think it's, a I wrong think it's answer. Manoa Gossman, but fuck, dude. Imagine who do we have go three? It would be Barrios. It would right. It would happen. Oh, I mean, dude, that scares me because you don't know what the fuck you're gonna get from this guy. I would rather fucking Ross. I think Stripling. though, but you gotta remember though, playoffs very short leash. He gets in one little jam. See <laughs> well, then who do we right? bring in? Kikuchi gets, to back him up. Second and third. Bang, I think Ross would out. back him You'd up. You have Mitch White and uh, Stripling in the pen, ready to go. Like, so I think that that's a good that's a good that's a good point, Jr. I think for the for the playoffs, it's you take the risk, right? In my opinion, it's Manoa. It's Manoa one, Gossman yep. two, Barrios three. Very short leash with Stripling backing him up, and then you just go back to Manoa. Mm-hmm. He would do some Max Scherzer like come out of the bullpen game five of a division series and just oh, strike out the world. Oh, dude, I can. That gets me so excited just to get Manoa pitching at the Rogers Center in a playoff game, dude. Oh, that my guy. Is I don't know if he'll be coffeeist. able to contain himself. Imagine <laughs> that guy fucking how amped he'll be. That place will be. They He doesn't un, even understand how yeah. fucking crazy that place gets. <laughs> I mean, most people on that team, who's even experienced it? No one. On the the Jays no don't one? have any guys left over from that playoff team. Was was uh, Jansen, though, like on the roster? No, he was still in like uh he was I think he was in the futures game oh that my year. Oh god, dude. It so, is going to be fucked. It I don't think yeah, like and honestly, you could get like the playoff jitter stuff like that. I think if the Jays are hosting the first game, I think with how young this team is, everyone's going to be a little bit jitter. there there might be a couple kick balls like air like like jumpy at the plate. It's going to well, take saying, a while. You're saying the, we uh, saw it opening day. We saw it opening day. Yeah, you're going like, to say the wild card series in 2020 there. didn't uh, calm them down for playoff <laughs> baseball. Yeah. So, I, do you guys guess... like when, uh, you know, playoffs, the new announcing crew comes in? I fucking love that shit. That's when you just like know TBS? it's ball. Yeah. I love I TBS. love that shit. No, I, I, I love TBS. People hate it. Some people hate it. It's like, dude, that's playoff dude, get ball. Pat Ta- if Pat Tabler is commentating a playoff <laughs> game, fuck no. Like, give me the TBS boys coming in here, just like the fucking, the new kids on the block yes, coming in the Rogers Center, the block, and you're dude. watching it. And I don't know if it's just the TBS score bug in the top right it's where it's cool. like the square. It just gets it. me going. It's like this is playoff fucking baseball. It feels like I you want earned the Jays it at to that be point. on that. Yeah, you earned that shit. Yeah, you, you earned it. the good announcers. You <laughs> earned Joe Buck. He gets to call your games. I don't I, even Joe Buck won't be able to do anymore. Yeah, I don't think he is doing it, which is too bad. Fuck. I Can love Troy people who hate Joe Buck. Go fuck yourself. I like yeah, him. fuck you. <laughs> Seriously, trying to be a fucking hardo. You're a loser. I. Dude, I Shulman should wait. do playoff games maybe for ESPN. I think right? he does. He probably, I think he does, but they probably have some sort of rotation. 
that's like yeah oh, dude i'm just I think thinking he does. Yeah. the score bug is cool like awesome mm-hmm. for tbs it's I so agree. awesome it's and so i hope all i can remember is it. like tbs games mid-afternoon the braves are playing yeah like and... braves reds back in the day like break yeah. like three years ago yeah when baseball was hey, back you gotta post it and just say the captions just sex just, just, <laughs> I mean, yeah <laughs> those who get it get it those who don't don't yeah that's, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that's gonna be the caption i the oh dude i Honestly, and I think I just saw it on Twitter. The Jays' playoff chances is in like the eighty percent now, ninety percent or something like that. No, no I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, uh, we, if you're listening to this, just to be safe, you got to start saving up for Jays' playoff tickets. Like, that is going to be the spot. Fifty thousand in packed in the Rogers Center. I, I, I can't. I can't wait. Like, I, I, I hope it happens. I, I seriously can't wait. I can't we'll, wait. I'll. Yeah, no matter what, need to be in the building. I don't care what the price. I will sit at the top of the 500. Do you think uh, I'm going to ask my dad to fucking try and get us tickets? That's what we need. Absolutely. I'll try um, and work my, do my you way think, in. There. I would almost want to do a pod after every fucking game. Not so much. That's <laughs> that would be electric. <laughs> I mean, they like, would all they would all do so well. Yeah. The game 14 wants. marathon. Yeah, like just like 30 minute <laughs> episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'd be quick, sick. Quick episodes. Yeah, now sick. we need to make the playoffs. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Okay. Uh, but yeah. get a home series, oh, please, dude. for the love. Can of you God. imagine? Because like we all, because obviously we're all gonna go to the games. Yeah. Like imagine just us, just tired, run down, either just from celebrating like a two a.m. podcast recording, no YouTube, just throw it up, just no cut, no clip, none <laughs> of it. Just get it up there for the people. Just the voices are lost. We're all fucking. Oh. Yeah. Were just you... give it to me and then you know we what's fi- even better we film it on this uh fucking in the car like we're all on our phones <laughs> with headphones on you know what's even better after the like right during playoff time on the saturdays you got college football then Sunday nfl and then mlb playoffs that's the verbal meme that picture i always tweet with the, the phone just cut with the dick holding it up that's <laughs> me all of october it's the greatest thing of all time Really I almost is. used that for something today. I forget what it was. But. Oh, you can't use it on Instagram. We will talk about that in a little <laughs> bit. Uh, I did get us hand up. <laughs> I did get us suspended from Instagram. To, can't do lives. For how long? What? I don't know. I, I, I tried what to go live ha- today. What happened I here? Because so I'm hearing I, this. This is I fresh posted a me. meme, and it was a meme of someone saying, shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram. I got a pretty good amount of likes. And then I get a notification from Instagram. This is violating community guidelines. And then like a suicide hotline number, right? Like under, I was like, w- like, relax. Like I was just saying the J like, that's when, you know, it's been tough. And people say like, you're just a pod. You don't understand your podcaster. No, no, no. We grind with this fucking team. I, and then I tweeted, and I don't understand this. I tweeted another picture of like a guy texting an Uber driver, telling him to run him over. But that, that didn't break community guidelines. Use- you can't use the word shoot combined with me. But run me over? <laughs> the fuck? Run. It is. Oh, God. That's that's a shame. It's a shame. So this is the meme. It's uh, Full House <laughs> saying shoot me, zero dollars. And did you get that from somewhere or did you write shoot me? No, that's like from Google. I'm surprised that he, it could I'm just like, should I more shocked? You should have said like non life threatening injury wound. Shoot me. Well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to test the waters. Don't the do that. One, no. The next one I'm going to post is this. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> no, that will not work. <laughs> that will be uh yeah. Well, I tried to go live. It would have been electric. So I had to record myself. You could have gone on TikTok, man. Well, yeah, but then people like uh, just it's a, it's not our followers on TikTok. It's not it's not the, like the guys in the mud with us on TikTok. No, it's the but, guys who want to chirp us are our fucking yeah followers on TikTok. They so another sh- us on TikTok. Yeah, they do. No, some, no, we have we have truthers. And shout we out do. by the way to TBJ edits, uh, making a gate fourteen montage of uh, accounts you should follow on TikTok. Shout out to those guys. If you're listening to this, this is actually going to test your fandom. If you're listening to this, thank you. Uh, maybe clip that of us saying thank you. But another. <laughs> Another shocking development here. Um, very weird. So Spencer Strider today didn't pitch the best, obviously, right? 2.2 innings, four and runs against the Mets. Also, he's facing DeGrom. So. And now Mets fans are coming at the officially unofficial it, Twitter, tweeting at me and tagging Strider saying, awesome job, Cupcake. Uh, stop crying, Bozo. 
what the fuck am I catching ricochet shots for? What did you say something about the match? No, it's just boss? that was his last tweet. Was a retweet of the episode. Oh, it's not. Oh yeah, just stop crying. Sorry. It's just it's a lot. Yeah, it's his last tweet. So they're just coming at me. Like, I don't know what the fuck's going on here. You're just in the mud there, man. You just gotta. You... Sorry, Jericho. Yeah, he is mud boy. Yeah, you just gotta. You just I didn't gotta do anything though. I know, but that's just that's just life. You gotta fucking. That's just who you are now. All right. Yeah, and uh, another thing. So sorry, Johnny. Do you think you'd be Kevin Durant if you were a player? Like the burners on all the time. No, I I go straight from the account. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't need a burner. I don't need a burner. I go straight from the account. But actually, speaking about burner stuff like that, so I'm gonna post that Twins uh, fan stop crying clip and then the Yankees suck clip. Let's go around the room. What are the comments going to be from haters of this account? Um, I'll start. I'll start. Tell me you've never played fucking baseball before. That's me. Avery, what's going to be yours? Uh, no, that's that's all I had in my head, too, is tell me you've never played baseball. Um, next one is, do you guys even watch the games? <laughs> <laughs> you guys know nothing about baseball. Or anyone could have a podcast. Yeah. Is, anyone, is anyone top five in Canada on fucking baseball? On Apple Podcast? No, fuck you. That's a, one day I will get a response like that. But the 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 funniest one I tell us David on the golf course. This old guy, like seventy, commented on our TikTok and said something along the lines of um, a bunch of guys who just played slow pitch their entire life. I responded. I had to because he was like a hundred, uh, and I said. Aren't you like 80 years old? I was like, go pay your fucking mortgage. Like, what the fuck are you doing? He's literally 80. It's like a selfie up under his nostrils is his profile picture. So fuck that guy. And honestly, shout out to the dudes, man. The listeners that are just joining Mud Boy as like a cult in the TikTok comments that stand up for us in the Instagram comments. You, you're, you're, you're the real MVP. You're the real MVP. Thank you for that. Thank free you. Our Instagram that. too. If now that now that we're doing that, fucking free us. Yeah, free us. What the fuck's that shit? Also, the guy who just commented Santiago on Espinal should have his TikTok or his Instagram account. No, I put him on. Uh, I blocked him for two days. He He's out of blocking jail. He's back. <laughs> he's actually a listener of the show, so I kind of feel bad blocking him. He's probably going to listen to it. But, Give it uh, a little two, ga- two gamer. It was a two game suspension. Because mm-hmm. he comments Espinal. And you know what's crazy is he does it on the TikToks too, but I don't notice. Like, I was looking at some of our TikTok comments just like, Santiago Espinal, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what is this? By the way, Espinal has been absolutely terrible. It's terrible. Do we want to do the post, the splits here? Oh, no, no, no. Because no, we were... Don't even do that. You're well, he do was dirty. awesome. He was awesome. And he... I mean, we didn't... We knew he wasn't going to keep... He mushed up. himself being an all-star when he was. Yeah. <laughs> when he Santiago really... Espinal got picked as an all-star, when he had no right in hell to be an MLB all-star, that's what that's what was like the, the straw that broke the camel's back. He has a weighted runs created plus of 94 now, below league average. Oh, God. Um, so you, he's struggling. You do hate to see that. So let's go by month here. Mm, month of August, hitting 100. What? Well, there's only a couple days. He's played four games, hitting 100. <laughs> I was going to say, is it like, what day is it in August? 256 in July, 284 in June, 264 in May. So it's a roller coaster that's just on the downslope, right? Yeah. Not yeah, great. So June was really good. Well, yeah. maybe the wit, the wit side, the wit trade might look even better. Wit is just a phenomenal baseball player, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He really he is. I like. I, I enjoy is. watching him. I really do. I'm gonna say it. I enjoy watching. Dude, we got him play. this guy for seven mil next year, man. And then, like, we, I, then we kick him to the curb after that. I enjoy watching. I mean, him. I don't know if we can. Got to buy him out. Yeah, I, I do enjoy. I do enjoy <laughs> he gets watching. Eighteen him. mil for it's a little fucking steep. That's what you get for getting vaccinated, though. Wit, congratulations. Congratulations, you. Wit. You're all the way back. Can't wait to see you in Toronto, kid. I really can't. Yeah, um, that'll do you be think a big out. That it's two weeks. Like, do you think maybe he just got the vaccine when he found out he got traded, and he thinks he can get into the country, and he just can't? Yeah, he's gonna be like, oh, I, I got it though. <laughs> yeah, I got it though. <laughs> to be to be honest, I think I think he can play. It's it's the issue of you when you go back to the US, you have to quarantine. Like that's the issue. That's why when these guys come, the unvaccinated players. No, that's into Canada they, is the issue for that. Yeah. No, no, no. They can come into Canada. I no, that would make no technically, sense. Technically, 
Ugh, I don't know. The rules are so no iffy. way they'd have Sometimes. to vaccinate in America if they're unvaccinated or uh, quarantine. I think it. I think it's because it's a. Uh, like no, they have to. They have, they have to quarantine here. Yeah. Yeah. So like, what would I don't? It, the rules. Have, are if so, he came here, like, he'd have to quarantine. Is what you're trying to say? Yeah, he, he but wouldn't be able to play for two weeks, but or five days. Sorry. Yeah, I don't. It's so. But fun. yeah. Go go on a day, yeah, and then you can come in. Going around baseball for a second, I got to talk about this guy because I watched him today on the mats. Edwin Diaz Fox, <laughs> he is insane. He is insane. You missed it, Jared. And I were chopping it up, mm-hmm. though. Edwin Diaz, right before you joined. He is like let me the coolest read. walkout in baseball too. Oh, the trumpets, like just incredible. And I'm shout out Chris Castellani for this. I just came on my feed. Edwin Diaz's last 18 appearances, 18 innings, seven hits, zero earned runs, one walk, 38 strikeouts <laughs> in 18 innings. And the Mariners thought they won that deal. <laughs> if you're a Mariners fan and you picked up Justin Dunn and Jared Kalanick for this dude, you are, if you, and Mariners fans try to justify, oh, Kalanick's still young. No, 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 no. He stinks. He's hitting 150. And Edwin Diaz is maybe you could make a strong argument a Cy Young candidate in the NL. Okay, he's faced ninety-seven total right-handed batters. He struck out forty-seven of them. It it doesn't make sense. And he's he's faced um, seventy-two left-handed hitters, struck out forty-one. I would fucking. Do disgusting things to have that guy in the Jays bullpen. Well, we will have him next year, so, right? He's going to get so much money. He, I don't even care. You know what's crazy is Cohen. Cohen is going to drop the bag on him. Oh, he doesn't man. give off. He's playing Monopoly money. He's going to give him like three hundred mil. He really like. <laughs> he's going to be the highest paid closer of all time. <laughs> he deserves it. He I was yeah. watching him today. It's like ninety nine paint, breaking yeah. ball in the paint, ninety nine high and in, not even close. Good morning. Get out of here. And then you got to think, you're going Degrom, full stretch. Obviously, once he's fully healthy, Degrom to Edwin Diaz. What the fuck do you do in that situation? That is nuts. His strikeout rate on the season is over fifty percent. Fifty five, right? Fifty two point one. Like what the fuck? <laughs> and we're celebrating Jordan Romano here. When was the last time the Jays or oh, Osuna? Sorry. Osuna yeah, was disgusting. He was so sick. Sometimes <laughs> you was forget how freak. big of a role that guy played when we were. Wasn't he in uh, 2015? Was he a rookie when he was getting I all? The... I have was... to look at this guy's stats because it's crazy. It's it's just it doesn't make sense. Yeah, he's only 27 years old still. This guy, bro. I did say something bad and say he should come back to the Blue Jays earlier in the season. You did say that. You oh did yeah, say that. You, did. you did. So the J- that. so we knew Osuna... you were gonna say that. Osuna in 2016 and 2015, because we'll look at those two years. Those are the important years. He was four and three with a 268 ERA, 36 saves, and had a whip of 0.93. In 2015, 2580 ERA, 20 saves in 69 innings, 75 punchies. So he he was disgusting, but actually looking at these stats, maybe he wasn't as good as I thought he was. No, the FIP's really good. All the numbers really back it up, too. Yeah, wow. He was dude, awesome he, for Houston in 2019, too. He was so special, 38 bro. 38 saves. What happened to him again? Like, I know it was a domestic abuse, right? Yeah. Hmm, I don't know what actually happened, but he's in Japan now. I bet his stats in Japan are fucking nuts. I'm gonna look oh, up. dude. I don't even want to Because he went to the Astros, and he was pretty good for them. Yeah, Because the Jays, for- the Jays traded him for, uh, what's his name? On the, Kurt, no. Hundred Miles Giles. Right after Hundred Miles Giles punched himself in the face and gave him a concussion. Remember that? <laughs> Hundred yeah. Miles Giles was hilarious. I just forgot the- he fucking did. Th- I need to look that up right now. <laughs> There's just th- so many videos of him yelling at himself, just beating the fucking wheels off himself. <laughs> Those are the demons in his head. Ben Giles. <laughs> he's on the top. I think like he's the, on the Mariners now. I think he is. Yeah, he is on the Mariners. He's still oh, pitching in the majors. Yeah. He uh yeah, he was with the Mariners, but he was on the Astros when he did this after Gary Sanchez home run. 
<laughs> so yeah, that's a video that doesn't get talked about enough. Ken Giles concussing himself, uh, Blue Jay legend. Because I remember the Jays picked him up a couple of weeks after that. I think mm -hmm. it was like a trade for that, and that was like the narrative. Like the Jays just picked up a guy who is one and zero against himself <laughs> with the TKO. I just watched it. <laughs> just he just he, punched himself. Yeah, he didn't. His head kind of moves with it. <laughs> But he like smacks himself with his glove and his punches himself. <laughs> and that everyone knows so... people like this. Like you have a buddy that is crazy. I'm though. that guy. Oh, are yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> I've broken so many helmets off of my head. Just... Johnny's the type of guy that goes. When you the don't mental legit. Everyone knows when, that. When the Jays lose, Johnny grabs a couple bats from the basement <laughs> and snaps them over his knee in the backyard. When oh, hand up. When Romano blew that today, I was beating the fuck out of my couch. <laughs> I I was just fucking right hooking uh -oh. the fuck out of my couch. I was so mad. You're mental was, midget on one footers on hole nine at Wild Winds. That's yeah, all. yeah. That is true. Jay Avery did not give me a one footer, just so I put that on the record. But. I, I I have a guy. Uh, there's always these guys, but I know a guy who uh, <laughs> he's like a huge hockey fan. And when his team lost, he threw his remote across the room that made a huge hole in the wall. <laughs> grabbed four hockey sticks, went outside, and just started snapping them over his net because they see got that's electric. I think, yeah, I, that is electric. Fuck, that's sick. I love. Like, those what do you do? What do you do, Johnny? Like, I, I this is gonna be our first playoffs together. But what do you do if your team loses? Like, do you like depression? I'm guessing depression. Like for that stretch when the Jays were shit and like the mm -hmm. bullpen and they weren't in the playoffs, but I was like legitimately depressed. Like I just had no reason to wake up in the morning. It's like, oh, I got to watch Trevor Richards. I got to watch Anthony Banda. I got to watch. Uh, by the way, RIP Anthony Banda, man. We didn't talk about that. The guy's gone now. I don't know what he's doing. You guys wonder what he's doing. What's Anthony Banda up to? Holy Think throwing. he signed somewhere? Some team took a flyer on him. I uh, <laughs> I found Roberto's in the stats for this year. Okay, that's all. Uh, they good. Chiba Latte in Japan. Um, he has a one three eight ERA, <laughs> thirteen strikeouts, thirteen innings. He has a point six one WHIP. Fucking Christ! He's guys just good at throwing baseballs. He was playing in an indie league. Oh, in Mexico. He threw 24 innings, punched out 27. This guy can get people out. At Just, what cost, though? At what, at what cost? <laughs> I mean, Arolas Chapman has a job. He yeah, beat he, his he wife with a pistol. And Yeah, he pointed a gun at her. Like, that's that guy. Oh, I thought he beat her up with it. <laughs> no, he pointed a gun at her, which is even more, like, might be worse than actual, right? Yeah, it's bad. It's yeah, all so bad. It's all bad. None of it's good. It's all bad. It is all bad. So we are, yeah, just, I want to get ahead of this. We might actually, can we say this? We're the first Blue Jays podcast that is against domestic violence. Hand up. I can agree. we get our hand up? We are the first Blue Jays podcast to ever come out against domestic abuse. Yes. We're against it. If you do it, you're a piece of shit. We'll block um, you. And yeah, you're dead to us. So if you're a follower or a listener, fuck you. If you do, if you do that. About time a podcast comes out. <laughs> yep. But uh, yeah, but yeah, both time at Jay's podcast. I don't see the fucking other one. I'm not gonna. Blair and Barker me. definitely didn't fucking. Has say Blair that. and Barker come out on that? They work for sports now, right? There's I probably a couple of allegations there. Those. Send the tweets how why they support domestic abuse. So if you're a listener to this podcast, tag us. <laughs> don't do. Don't tweet do out it. Blair and Barker and just say like, what is your stance on domestic abuse? Because we haven't heard anything. Like you guys haven't come out against it, right? Have they? Mm -hmm. I, I no. Don't think so. I haven't seen a statement. No, I haven't seen a statement either. But, uh, okay, I guess we're going to the Orioles series. Massive series, right? We yep. can say that. Is this the biggest series of the year so far? Nope. All right. I can respect that. Uh <laughs> <laughs> it was the first thing that came to my head was no. Nope. How, though? Um, it's <laughs> How? I mean, every series is the biggest of the year at this point. Well, right? the Orioles are two games back in a three-game series. You could have said the Twins, though. That was a pretty... Oh, sorry. No, they're four games back because the Jays are two games above the Rays. Yeah, sorry. Never mind. Not a big series. Digress. I it's digress. It's still a big series. No, it's still a big series. Well, something... Sorry, not the biggest series of the year. Um, biggest series of the year. It's, just... it's okay, going to be that so... stretch. Remember, you talked about Yankees and all that shit. Yeah, man. yeah. Yeah, that stretch is like in a month or so, right? A month yeah. and a half. Yeah, uh, for four socks. And what the fuck is this? So the Jays have the Orioles this week, and then they have them next week. 
at home because I mean, we, we barely play have played the Orioles. Yeah, eighteen games, right? You have to play each team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this is the pitching matchups for the listeners: Kikuchi versus Lyles, Manoa versus Kyle Bradish, and Barrios versus Dean Kramer, who's this? Dean Kramer's disgusting, or Kramer, or whatever. He's gross. So I did say the Jays would sweep this weekend four not four zero. They went two and two, so I wouldn't recommend whatever the fuck I want to come out with here, but. What do you guys think? Like, the Kikuchi game is a tough one because Jordan Lyles is actually not bad. I don't mind him. I, like, he's decent. One four three. Him and Kikuchi stats are kind of similar. No wave. Yeah, Lyles has more wins, eight and eight, but four four zero doesn't really tell the whole story. But I haven't really looked into it. I think he's a good arm. I'm going one and two. No. Mm-hmm. Two and one. Two and one. I'm gonna say two and one. I think Manoa and Barrios, especially with the Barrios bounce back, I will say this to the gamblers out there, a lot of unders will be getting taken. Like, every game is going to go under. Both offenses are kind of like, they don't, they're don't. they not jumpy where they'll go, like, take massive leads, like, because the Jays, you know, they hate winning by over two, except on Thursday. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to, a lot of unders, I think, in my opinion. I'm going to say the Jays win the Kikuchi game and the Barrios game. I say that they lose the Manoa one. They yeah. hate giving Manoa run support. Bradish isn't great. I'm going to – they win Manoa game, and they win Kikuchi. Barrios, eh? Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm banking on Barrios to bounce back, though. I really am. All night games, too. Fucking rights. Thank God. Did you realize also – and, like, we obviously love Kirk, but he was on 0 for 22 stretch. You guys know that? Yeah. Yeah. I saw, dude, his average is almost below 300. It, it might is. be now, right? It is, yeah. Is it? Fuck, really? Dude. We got to bump him down that lineup. He's a plug. Yeah. Nothing it's... against the guy. When he's hitting, he's good up there. But, like, when he's not and he's not hitting for power. Yeah, you can't force him to hit three hole. You can't force him to three hole. You can't. No, you can't. You can't force he's not, him. Like, he's just, yeah, when he's hitting absurd, yeah. But now it's time to push him back. I mean, push, push him down. Yeah, okay. like, I also, I, I now have a newfound love for uh memes under uh, other opposing teams like when they post the loss that is funny i saw you this is my too. favorite one was that you just lost to one inning one <laughs> inning of bradley zimmer like that that is just mona lisa-esque like that's my favorite meme ever and then another one i forgot to send you guys. did kirk memes do that no this is like a, it was just under uh it was, it was just under like uh, the twins post so i was looking at like the jays fans roasting them yeah this was my favorite one it is a picture of Whit Merrifield, <laughs> and it's like it has all like the the like the eyes and stuff like that, and needles everywhere. And it says Whit Merrifield just boosted his his team past your poverty franchise. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest thing I've ever seen. It's the greatest. It's the greatest. I, that's what I, I posted that story that I am vaccinated to hit Whit. Um, I saw that on that Twitter was funny. too. That was funny. I mean, I'm vaccinated, man. Congrats. Thanks. You know what? You want to talk about doing anything for the boys? How about Wit going against his morals getting vaccinated, huh? You know what we haven't done in a shout while? Out, fellas? Shout out to the fans who are fucking absolute dumbasses who thought. You know what we haven't done for a while? Vaccinated. A draft. Stop. You can't just add that when Johnny probably didn't prepare for a subject. I didn't prepare. I, I couldn't tell you what it we, is. Well, we could come up with a, a topic here for what next time. What the fuck? A Mets fan just tweeted at me Want some cheese with that wine? Cry more. <laughs> what the fuck? Why are you tagging me in this? Dude, Mets fans are crazy, Johnny. I wouldn't want to get involved there. So I would back. I would. You're on Frank like the Tank side. Happening. Just send a pic of you and Frank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is that? But a lot of Mets fans actually don't like Tank. He's very <laughs> negative. <laughs> he posted a video today. Victory buzz cut. Victory buzz cut. He was on TikTok recapping the game, buzz cutting his hair in his sink. It's the greatest video I've ever seen. <laughs> that guy is, sick is so unde- undefeated, dude. He's so positive now. He does no more negative tweets. He's all time. The victory buzz cut video is just so all time. Shout Isn't out Kirk at 350 in May. Holy shit. 340 in June. And then wow. 291 in July. Wow. He's hitting that zero is... in August. Well, that's good. He's hitting zero in August. Yeah. 12 ABs. No, he got a hit today, though. Maybe this hasn't updated then. Yeah, it's not updated. But, no, we're still going to be riding with Kirk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. He's still our guy. He's still our guy. I'll shout out all Hunter Kirk means, by the way. He's dying, chomping at the bit for the merch. And JR, actually, 
let's update the people here because I'm going to announce it tomorrow either way, even if like mm-hmm. the size is things on there or not, but maybe you can um, give a little more insight to it. Yeah, we we just, okay, look, we had some fucking last minute issues. <laughs> we were ready to go live and the fucking payment processor company was being fucking douchebags. Uh, I got, I called them four times, got in a fight with their guy i ripped them apart now our case is like at hq like they're trying to solve our case so the everything works guys so what we'll have you go is we just need you guys to dm us your size so we have the two t-shirts and the hoodies the hoodie live uh we just wanted to do one color hoodie right johnny yeah that's fine i think it makes sense yeah Um, so just go pay, go go get what you want, and then just DM us your size. That's all we need. You'll you'll put in your address and everything, and and if you want it to pick it up, uh, just DM us for that. Um, so yeah, DM us the size and like the pickup. Like if you're picking yeah. up or shipping. Yeah, but we can ship it to you guys. Like you'll pay for shipping and it'll get shipped to you. So don't worry about that part either. So so yeah, we just need your size. So just buy whatever you want and then DM us your size. And if we don't hear from you, we'll reach out to you because we'll have your email. Yeah. So, um but just know just try and reach out to us as soon as you can yeah so so yeah you're you're, yeah you guys are good to go Mm -hmm. um yeah you're good to go to order the stuff now so i know alejandro kirk means was chomping at the bit to get it that's our guy right there um so shout out to him for that and uh going back to this avery and obviously here's a little nugget for you tomorrow for your owner's box stream um i'll be on up the party parlay matt chapman off of jordan lyles is hitting 353 how many at bats 18 and Whit Merrifield is hitting 385 off of this dude to hit Fuck wit Johnny you really got into the stats are you I mean B- not are you on the BVP play. machine or what yeah it might be a waxing tomorrow it might be a waxing tomorrow but yeah that's like the pitcher that the Jays are the most familiar with in this series um a lot of the Jays have tons of at bats against these guy um yeah Dean Kramer it's a couple at bats Vladdy's only had five Bobachet's had five but yeah, tomorrow just expect a Matt Chapman masterclass, folks. Even All right, that let's huge get, let's wall. Get another dinger on the yeah twenty one, dude. One there, let's dude. get another one up there. Let's get thirty here one it. time. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm excited. This is gonna be an awesome series tomorrow, man. And and you know what's gonna be sick too? Even though I hate to say it, Camden Yards is gonna be rammed tomorrow. I don't know yeah, if you guys I saw, saw this weekend. It saw was that video. Fucked. It was fucking packed. So good for them though. They kind of need something. They deserve dude. it, dude. Yeah. They have not a winning team in so long. It's like mm-hmm. fuck. But yeah, it's gonna be a good series. Uh so yeah, if you're listening to this, that means that the website is good to go. We uh, how, where should I put the link? Uh just put just it put, in the bio. The link will just be in the bio. I'll make a bio. video about it anyways. I'll make a video yeah. about it anyways. But um, Instagram, you can't put it in the caption, right? Yeah, so. I'll put it in the bio. I'll put it in the bio. So Anyways, keep let's keep buzzing here. Obviously, it was just a it was a weird weekend for the Jays because it was like positive vibes and then dog shit vibes. But the, we're back. We might be back. We're in a playoff spot. Optimistic. The home Jays playoff are, games. That's all we want. Yeah, we're we're mm-hmm. playing for home playoff games, and that the only way you get home playoff games here is by winning, coming first in the wild card. So, do your thing, and. uh Let's 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 win this series. All right, let's go two and one against the Orioles here and get back home to the Rogers Center against the Guardians, which is another fucking huge series, by the way. And let's do it. All right. Uh, thank you guys for listening. And uh, Instagram, fuck you, fuck you, Instagram, unban us. Let us go live again. Let us talk to the people, you scumbags, or as Patty the Batty says, lizards. How, any any last words, Jr. from the people? Nope. Let's go. Let's have a good series. Fuck Mark Zuckerberg. Give our Instagram account back.